So what would I look for uh, when trying to pick an MS disease modifying therapy? Well, so there's, there's several things that we want. We want a medicine that is well tolerated. So for example, there are patients of mine that have needlephobia. There are medicines that are taken orally, which make people have all kinds of GI problems, for example. And so that might not be tolerable. So the medicine has to be tolerable. It also has to be safe. Uh, oftentimes safety is something that we have to check uh, long term as we move forward in time. And so we would look to see, for example, um, that the liver enzymes in a given medicine didn't spike or that it didn't suppress the immune system too much. And that's oftentimes something that we're going to sort out as we move forward in time, not at the time that we start the medicine. It is relevant that many of the medicines that we take for MS require monitoring. And so in order to make sure that they're safe, we may need to get laboratories um, as frequently as every three months long term. And so we'd want to make sure that your sister had access to have those kind of laboratories. Also, um, in my mind, we have to make sure that the medicine is effective. So what does it mean to be effective? It means that we're not going to have uh, new attacks. We're not going to have new spots on the MRI. We're not going to see worsening of the neurological examination, and we're not going to have accelerated uh, rates of brain volume loss. And again, that's something that we determine long term. And then that's how I would try to help make my decision.